All right, everybody, it's 10 o'clock. Good morning. Um, welcome to another edition of the Long Coffee Break. I'm Joshua Like, sales engineer out of the Grand Junction office. With me today, I got Randy Harvey, uh, regional sales manager for KE Fiber Tech. And today he's going to discuss Fabric Duck Solutions. So, Randy, go right ahead. Good morning, everybody. Um, like I said, my name's Randy Harvey. I'm a regional sales manager out of uh, for KE Fiber Tech. We are... Uh, I, I'm located in Texas, but I do cover Colorado. I grew up in Colorado. I lived there for about 37 years, and then I uh, I married a Texan, and uh, that's what happens when you marry a Texan. They moved to Texas, so that's where I'm at now. But I know uh, Colorado quite a bit by my back of my hand. Uh, the Fort Collins, everything from you know Denver, Fort Collins, um, even my my daughter actually goes to uh, Grand Junction um, College out there, so um come out there quite a bit so uh but i'm gonna tell you a little bit about our uh, our product here i guess i've got about 15 minutes so let me get started here um thanks again josh for uh, inviting me on here today it's it's a uh, it's a real honor i think this is a great great program that you guys do um a little bit about uh a little bit about ke we are uh we are um, expanding into the into mexico and to the us we do actually own a company out of Mexico called Air Socks, and we also own another company in uh, Wisconsin out, and they're called ADC, if you've ever heard of them. Um, now you guys have full access to, Long has full access to both those companies also, where with those companies, we can also offer a uh, uh, polyethylene duct instead of polyester. So if uh, if you have any need for a polyethylene, um, it's, a, it's a little cheaper version. And um, if you had a warehouse or something like that, it's actually a pretty good alternative for for that and we'd be glad to give you a quote on it it's, it's actually about half the price of the polyester that we use for uh um, everything else but we do have our main uh, facility is actually in denmark we do have an office here in the u.s um, for u.s uh operations we've been around since 1974 we are the the largest and the oldest um fabric air fabric duct manufacturer in the world. Um, we passed up duck socks last year, um, which was kind of a neat little thing for us. So uh, with our growth and everything like that, we're actually, um, we're pushing to uh, to have a record year this year also. And it's it's great to have Long on our side because they, uh, they contribute quite a bit to it. Um, I understand there's quite a few engineers on board here. So I'm gonna try to talk a little bit about some of the engineering stuff, but if what if I don't talk to you, there's a, if you go on our website, there's a full, uh, all kinds of engineering stuff. And I do have a book, uh, an engineering book that if you do want one, get with Josh and I will have one uh, second aid to you that is specifically just for engineering. So uh, just get with him and I'll get that out there to you. At KE, we do, we're the only, we're the only uh, fabric duct manufacturer that actually has their own weaving mill. We, uh, and that's all we do is weave, weave fabric just for fabric duct. Um, with that, what that means is we can actually, uh, we can weave the duct to a certain thickness, whatever we want. Everybody else out there, they have a 2% leakage. Um, we can go anywhere from zero to I think, I think 32, um, on our leakage. So we can actually, you know, um, actually do duct without any holes in it all. And it just, uh, just leaks out the duct and, and works out good over in Europe. They, they very seldom put holes in their duct work. Um, they just go with a looser weave on it and, uh, and it works out pretty good for them. But over here in the U S we always, everybody wants to see holes. So, uh, we do holes over here, but we do have our own weaving mill. Um, and, um, we do have, a um, everything is weaved and all that stuff. We do not color any duct, any, uh, any fabric, all the fabric that we do put through the weaving mill. It is actually colored with the, with the, uh, the plastic beads so if you if you order blue or something like that it is it is colored we use those colored beads so that we don't have to color the fabric um in the world they use them as much water as that is and i think they said the gulf of mexico every year just to color fabrics um in the in the world so we we, we got away from that and i'll get into that a little bit better on uh on our cradle to cradle stuff um here in a couple more slides but we do not dye any any fabric. We just uh, we just put the different colored beads in there. Now, if you did want to do a printed fabric, and we can do printed fabric like this up here, 
if you have a solid pattern, um, we can actually print it. If you want a customer that needs camouflage duck, we can do that. We uh, we also have a uh, um, we had one that was a log cabin that they they wanted to uh, put duck in the log cabin, but they didn't want to have it look just like any uh, any metal or anything. So we actually had the duck work look just like a piece of log, and you, it's actually really hard to see. Uh, we got a case study coming out on it, and it'll be on our website real soon. Um, we do all of our manufacturing in uh, in Denmark. We do actually some of it in here in the U.S. at the ADC plant also. That's getting transformed over to 100% KE products over here. Um, we do all of our stamping and all that stuff here in the in in Denmark, and we're we're transferring a lot of it over here to uh, to the U.S. And that's going to save a lot on on shipping charges and stuff like that. And because uh, as you all know, UPS they uh, they do some strange stuff and they raise prices here and there, and it's just getting a little ridiculous. So we're going to try to handle that a little bit better and keep everything over here in the U.S. Why you want to choose a, a textile based ventilation? Um, we are all UL. 2518 approved so what we can do is um every every piece of duct is is fire rated and all code required and all that stuff it does have the stamps on it and all that so it is all ul 2518 um you're going to get even air distribution um all that stuff there i'll get into warranties here in a second um on that also what we can do also, as I told you earlier, we can color we can color the duck too. But what we want to do is we color the beads. And if you have a custom color, we do we do uh, color the beads from that point, and then we uh, we run that through. So if you needed a purple color or something like that, we do. What we do is we uh, we do a couple of little pieces in a swatch and send them to you, make sure it matches. A lot of schools and stuff like that, they are very particular about their colors. So we want to make sure we get it right. So we can basically do any color on a Pantone chart. Um, and that's all we need is a Pantone number. But when you color fabric and a Pantone, they do have a fabric Pantone chart, and that's the one we want to use. Um, so if you if you Google up a Pantone chart, there is a fabric Pantone chart um, that we'd rather use than the regular uh, paint Pantone chart. So we can get a lot better match on that. So we're we're pretty good at that. We still want to send a swatch out to you and make sure that the customer is okay with that, and then we continue making the product from that point. With that said, what we can do is we we don't have to uh, we don't have to charge the customer a full roll of uh, of fabric like some of the competitors do. We can uh, we can make a, a colored piece um, ten foot long, and it's not going to cost any more. So a competitor of ours, if they had to do a ten piece of custom color, the customer would have to actually buy the whole roll, and uh, it gets quite expensive at that point. So the you know, competitors try to stay away from it. We we we're okay with it. We just uh, it does add about another week to 10 days under the shipping on that too. So just a fair warning on that end. Um, we also can do all uh, logos and things like that for schools. Um, and we put that all in. Sometimes we uh, we print the uh, the logo on there or we can actually do a uh, embroidery too if they wanted to it's quite more expensive but it looks really cool but it's it has quite a bit of time and uh labor onto it it's real expensive so i would much rather if you guys wanted a logo we can go ahead and print it on there we'll do we'll do all the drawings for it and get it all approved with you before we send it out and all that stuff but logos are a big thing uh, a lot of your schools and stuff like that they really like to see the logos we have a designer called a tbv design this is our our CAD or our rivet um, designer that we use to uh, to do all of our fabric duct. Now, if you have a job that you have it in uh, CAD or Re Revit, I think it is. Um, we do we do have that available also. So, if you have a job that you want to turn over to a um, possibly turn it into a VE on it, and it's got metal in it now. And I know you all have a, you know, you're all busy and everything like that. You ain't got time to do all that. Send it over to Josh or somebody over at the long, um, one of your salespersons, and they'll send it over to us, and we'll go ahead and take care of it for you. Um, we have about 20 or 25, I don't know, 20, 20, 30, something like that, engineers on staff um, in our office 
that can actually uh, do a CAD drawing and turn it all into fabric and then send it back to you to get stamped. So um, we want to take the load off y'all um, so that we can, uh, so you can do other stuff. So if you, we're all going to run into VEs, it, it happens on pretty much every job. So um, if you do need a v, VE on the, on the fabric, we can, uh, we can definitely take care of that. Now, when we do a VE on it, something like that, we are also going to stamp that with a one year design warranty. So if any, if this thing is, we put this stuff up and it doesn't work the way that we, our program says it's going to work, we are 100% uh, stand behind it. So you do have a, a one year um, design warranty on that. And I'll get into that a couple more slides too about the warranties. Um, but you will get a copy of this every time that you get a quote sheet. It'll tell you, I know it's kind of small to read, but it, it'll tell you everything that you need to know about that duct, um, your pressures, your velocities, your velocities at certain heights. Your different. So what we do is we also send a, uh, it's a mocked up C, CFD on every single uh, quote. So as Long can tell you, a lot of our quotes you can actually use as a submittal. I mean, they're pretty detailed. Um, so, but bigger jobs, you want to do a full submittal, we can do that too. So, but a smaller job, um, a lot of people just use our use our quotes for the uh, submittal process and it works out just fine. It's uh, very detailed on the quote quotes system. Jumping a little around here a little bit, guys, I, I uh, guys and ladies, I apologize, but um, I went through this at midnight last night and I'm trying to trying to figure this out, but this this just kind of tells you a little bit of uh, fun facts about air air facts. Um, you know, 60 to 90% of the time we spend indoors. Um, we got 50 times more pollutant than uh, outdoor air. It kind of tells you a little bit about how important um, indoor air quality is. Um, and that'll go back into our, our green duck here in a little bit, but we also, that, that goes into our KE is part of a uh, a program that is is nation is worldwide. It's more taken on speed over in the Europe area than it is over here. But I'm sure some of you know about this. It's called Environmental Protection Declaration, and what this does is it's a it's a carbon it's a carbon footprint on everything that we make. So what we do on every quote is we are going to put a carbon footprint on everything that we put out. So you will have a carbon footprint on the fabric, on the on the the hardware it is with it, and even the even all the way down to the the boxes that it's shipped in. We'll have the carbon footprint to that too. So if your customer is looking for uh, what the carbon footprint on on the fabric is um, that is available on every quote also. So it's kind of a neat little uh, thing that we're doing and everybody here probably in the next, I'm guessing in the next 10 years, the US will be 100% on board with it. We've we've kind of jumped the gun a little bit of it in Europe and we are way ahead of it also. We also do a thing called cradle to cradle. Um, if you've ever heard of cradle to cradle, cradle to cradle is, is um, recycling. No, we offer 100% recycling. So if you have a job that um, is a job that is, let's say it's one to 10 years, we're going to give you a refund of 10% on that fabric that you turn back into us because we're going to recycle that. Okay. Um, our factory in Denmark, as of the first of this next year, um, January 1st, we will be 100% recycled company. Um, that is everything all the way down to the breadcrumbs that they eat in, in the in the uh, in the lunchroom. Um, and what they do with that is they take it and they burn it and they make energy out of it. So all of our tailings, everything, um, we are uh, we recycle 100 percent of everything that we use. We are planning to be CO2 neutral by the year 2030. Um, is our target to, hey, Randy, to go we're, we're yes. going to run out of, out of time here in a couple of minutes. Okay. Can you jump to the warranty information? Yep. I apologize. I want to. No, you're good. You're good. 
I get going ahead of myself a little bit, guys. Sorry. It's all right. Let's just go right to the warranty. Warranty is really important, guys and ladies. Um, our warranty is actually the best in the industry. It's it's a 15-year warranty across the board if you do washing. And we do washing. We have washing stations all over the United States. And it's about a two-day process to get it washed and sent back to the to the people. If you don't want to get it washed, and when we wash it, we go through and we check the zippers, we check the seams and everything like that. We do have a seamstress on hand that will fix anything or anything like that and package it up just like it was brand new if uh, uh to get that 15 year warranty now everything else is a 10 year and that's a that's a non non prorated warranty so we don't prorate anything and we do keep the same price the price of the of the product if it went bad in nine years it's going to be the price of what it is on that ninth year okay it's not we're not going to go back to like our competitors do on the day when they bought it on day one now also right here we got that one year um design warranty here's a this one here is a really good one because we actually have a 10-year labor warranty and this is for your contractors out there so um if something went bad on this stuff we're, we're going to cover his labor 100 percent as far as lifts man hours um time on the job everything like that so we we cover that 100 and the, the reason why we have this such a good warranty everybody i've been doing this for 12 years now and i have yet to do one Okay, so that's that's a reason why you have such a great warranty because because uh, we don't use it. Um, I'll get out of here in one second here, Josh. I just want to show them. This is one of our quotes. Um, it's just a just a cutout. It will tell you everything you need to know about this little piece of duct. At this is a twenty five foot off the ground because it because it's saying it's going to be fifty feet per minute at twenty five feet. Um, on that and then at. It's going to be 100 feet per minute at 12 feet and 150 feet per minute at 8 foot. So it'll tell you everything you need to know about that piece of duct in in the uh, in the thing. We're also going to send a CFD with every every drawing um, with every quote. And also it's not a true CFD, but it's a cutout version. If we're doing a school, it's it's kind of a cutout version of a of a school that we did do. So if you do want a full CFD, we can actually have that done. But, you know, they're very expensive. Um, other than that, we got nozzles, um, everything we need, hanging hardware. We have different uh, different types of hanging stuff. Um, we can do cable, we can do rail, we can do um, quarter round, we can do half round, we can do all kinds of stuff. And then here's just a couple of a uh, couple of pictures that we have done in the past. We did the Daikin plant up in, and here's a copy of a thing where we did we mixed colors but it didn't cost them any more because we was actually able to do it different um with uh with our with our dyeing technique that we do do we can also do a full a rounded duct work like this and the way we do that is we loosen up the weave machine on one end and tighten it up on the other so we can get that bend in it it's actually a pretty neat process that we do to to make that happen so yeah um other than that we did do we did do a bunch of the the swimming venues in in the Olympics this year and the uh, the London Olympics and things like that, we've got kind of a contract with them um, to do. I think we're going to do a bunch of stuff out in L.A. when it comes. So um, other than that, awesome. thanks for uh, thanks for your time, everybody. And I appreciate it and uh, hope to see you soon. And if you awesome. have any questions, just get with Josh and I'd be more than happy to take a phone call if you have any questions. Well, Randy, I appreciate the time. Um, please join us next week with Billy Donovan discussing Containment housings for critical applications. Thank you and have a good weekend.